Hi, I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're here today at the Cloud Together Summit, and I'm speaking with Kevin Kwasniewski, National Team Lead for Nutanix at CDW. Uh, Kevin, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, my pleasure. Um, so first I'd like to ask, how has the federal government progressed in your estimation in consolidating and optimizing data centers? Um, the federal government has been kind of on a long winding strategic road to simplify and consolidate as many disparate systems um, and data centers as possible. And there have been many developments in recent times that have helped to support this con consolidation and optimization strategy. But one of the main ones that's really supported this has been the software defined data center and all the uh, efficiencies that that comes along with. And how are software defined capabilities uh, like uh, hyperconverged infrastructure uh, helping agencies transform their IT uh, from an infrastructure point of view? Um, the software defined data centers really help to define and create a transformation um, by providing a tool set that has simplified uh, the management of automation and orchestration. So the software defined data centers really help reduce the complexity of having many disparate hardware uh, network um, and software um, deployment centers uh, down to one uh, true what I like to call single pane of glass management. And next, I'd um, like to get your thoughts. What major lessons uh, can the federal workforce take away from the sort of new normal we find ourselves in working remotely uh, during the pandemic and presumably after? Um, the federal government really had to race to meet the challenge of uh, remote workforce and they had to do it very quickly. So services needed to continue as well as mission <clears throat> success is always paramount. So the federal government had a bit of a lead in this space as VDI has been a central solution across civilian and Department of Defense data centers for quite some time. Um, but the new capabilities have really started to play here by providing cross domain capabilities and further collapsing networking and um, reducing management overall. And then lastly, um, what role does hyperconverged infrastructure play as agencies consider moving to a more multi-cloud environment? Well, I think software-defined data centers and hyperconverged deployments are built for cloud. So they provide complementary features and functions on-prem with built-in in integrations to support workloads that uh, may need it to be in the public cloud. So software-defined hyperconverged, you know, are purpose-built for on-prem and hybrid cloud and moving to public cloud. So the ability to meet all the different approaches uh, is really the core function of it. Well, uh, Kevin, thank you so much for sharing some of your insights on that and uh, for joining us at the Cloud Together Summit. I really appreciate it. Oh, thanks. My pleasure.